4 15 a.m and we are waiting on the uber to take us to the airport so we can go hit up puerto rico we're gonna be down there for a week so we're super stoked tired as hell but super stoked we made it All right, we made it. Yeah. Fresh in San Juan. Going to pick up the rental. What did we get for a rental? A Jeep? Okay. Last time we came, we had the Jeep Wrangler, but maybe not this time. We have to see. I think the way you do it at the rentals places is you, you buy something, and then when you get there in person, you ask them for the upgrade. Yeah. You're like, hey, how much for the Wrangler? So we were here. Y'all can see. Not much to see right now, but we made it. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, it's actually not too bad. It's not humid or anything. I think it's about 70 degrees. It's nice. It's beautiful. I love it. We've got the car. We got the Hyundai Palisade. Palisade. <laughs> no, but it's sick. It's all right. It's pretty big. It's bigger than the Wrangler, that's for sure. When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be the Telluride. I was going to be stoked about that. Now we are going to España. Our favorite spot on the island for breakfast. Yeah, it's, I mean, any time of day is good, it's but good. it's like an old school diner st style spot. I mean, they revamped it and stuff now, but the food, I mean, it's right next to the airport, so it's the stop. That's the stop that you have to make every time. <laughs> I think anybody who's been to Puerto Rico that knows, they know about España. Well, then what? And then regular Cuban. Those are amazing. Those are You This thing is sick. Bro, classic. That thing is clean. Puerto Rico. Man, that thing is sick. Hell yeah. Okay, so these glasses make me look like Lady Gaga or something. I feel like I look like Kesha. But fantastic. I had a Cuban sandwich. Janice had like a breakfast sandwich, but I know some of you guys might be thinking, why would you get a Cuban sandwich in Puerto Rico? But it's, it's, it's a thing, you know, if you guys know about Florida, Tampa-style Cubans, then you guys know. I mean, I'm, I'm a Florida boy through and through, so I love my Cuban sandwiches when I can get them. So now we are leaving San Juan, and we are heading to uh, the condo, which is in a little place called Luquillo. There's a whole ass horse. Let's go. Everybody drives crazy. Sure you see our little houses in here, and then there's the towers where the condo is. Look at the old Jeep. Every time I come by, I look at that Jeep. That dog with a white head. A homeless cute. dog. That's a thing. We got the kind of the city behind me a little bit is the mountains that's all the rainforest up there and there's the ocean right back there and then this is the condo building now we have to get all the bags and all the groceries and take it up the top Ugh. Ugh. la casa beautiful in here. And as soon as you open, I don't even know, you guys can't even tell, but man, this is insane. Look at this. Boom! Isn't that sick? I forget which floor we're on, but 
we're up there. And I mean, it's super sick. And I look down here. Let me see. You guys can see all that. There's a little pool. There's a jacuzzi there, and then there's a pool over there. That this is normally all beach. I guess it's high tide right now. I don't even know if they can hear me, but sick. Super, super dope. That's awesome. It feels so nice down here because the last time we were down here it was like summertime and it was it was hot. I mean I mean I know that we live in Florida, but it was it was pretty hot. So if it's like literally in the 70s, it's the best. I love it. So now we're gonna go check out the bathroom that the that got remodeled, and we're gonna see how that looks. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. Wow, what a change. Yeah. Nice. Super bright. Oh yeah, you put the fan over there. Okay. Yeah, we still got a little bit left, but man, this is this is great. Wow, if you guys could have seen this before, I mean, it was just old school. It was like honey mustard in here, and the toilet was all small. But wow, this is great. And then, I think this thing lights up too? Wow, that's sick. That's dope. It's kind of a mess, but the next thing is to do the kitchen and rip these out. And I think get rid of the stove. I think she wants a dishwasher, but... I don't know if they were going to get rid of this thing and try to have this all open. Who knows? But this right here, the breeze is crazy. It's always windy because of, of where we're at. But look at this. The water is so blue. I mean, as far out as you can see. And they usually have guys that are surfing down here. Usually the beach is out about, about here. And same thing over here. It's about out to here. But I think it's a high tide. And then right here, you'll see this little spot there's a river back there there it is you can see it right there so that's fresh water mixing in with the uh the caribbean right here all the way down super sick and then at night you can see cruise ships that are way out there all lit up so they usually have surfers down here so i don't know if i've seen any today this is the view from the view from the balcony right I mean if we just look straight down it's crazy see these red flags these red flags here mean that there are rocks not reefs but rocks you guys can see the, the rocks right there and they go way out too so I'm sure some surfers have uh, lost it there once or twice and then I'm surprised some of the people are still out but you can see that there's rocks all through right there you kind of see it right there all those rocks and uh, down there all right so this is the this is the puerto rican ipa that i got old harbor brewed in puerto rico 96 so they've been doing their thing down here all right after a little while i'm gonna give it, give it a solid solid 8.6 i think it's i think it's good this is still my first one so day number two and we are getting ready to go hit Home Depot so we can buy some stuff for the condo. We need to upgrade some things. Uh, every time we come down, we try to do a little bit of a little bit of maintenance, a little remodeling as we come down. And, and uh, so we're getting ready to head over to get some breakfast at a local spot. Then we're going to go to Home Depot. But the weather is beautiful today. It's not quite sunny. We got some guys over here doing some repairs here. And then look at this. I wanted to show you guys. So this. In Puerto Rico, they have dogs that are like, they're stray dogs or they're just like wild dogs. This is obviously some type of abandoned, you know, hotel or something that it used to be. But look at this dog. These dogs have lived in this tower 
as long as we've been coming down here. There's one on the stairs right there, and then there's one right there. And they just they just thug it out together on that on that tower. It's hilarious. He's barking at me, but it's hilarious. We got the stray cats and stuff. This is cool. So some of these little places are like this little brunch bar. Oh shit, that's new. Yeah. Oh, we gotta check it out. It just popped open. Yeah. Somebody's listening to Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. The Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire. So this is the little town of Lakeo. We're coming into the park. This is the beach. You can see the red flag over there for the surfers. I don't think I've ever seen the beach not have a red flag. This beach is perpetually just like no, it's for the rocks. Oh. Yeah, I was looking at it yesterday. They they put the they put the flags right in front of the rocks. Mm -hmm. So if you see a red flag, I don't think you're oh, supposed to. That's cute. That looks new too. This is the little town square here. Dang. So this is where they have like little concerts. It's like a little stage. Mm -hmm. And these are all kinds of little restaurants and stuff. Little pizzeria right here. You can't beat it. And we're going to this little place called Simple Food. This place is so good. Small little mom and pop place. So we are here at Simple Food on the little patio here. There you see it. It's really nice. Got the cube in here. Mm. Die for. Mm. So good. That fries are bomb. Nice and crunchy. My love? Baba del Mar. Baba del Mar. So it's this restaurant. We are located in the city of Dorado. Dorado? No, the, sorry. Fajardo. Fajardo, sorry. Fajardo. Dorado's the fish. Yes, Dorado's the fish. Dorado's over there near San Juan. But this is a beautiful port that the rich folks store their boats at. And this is the <laughs> yeah, they've got a beautiful restaurant here. We haven't got the live music. Last time we came, there was live, well, the first time we came, there was live music. I think we gotta come on like a Friday or Saturday. No, and then the second time we came, there was music, but it was like a Billy Joel band or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Hey, you, calamari. I can put you crack one open real quick. Yes. Filled with crab meat, honey. Crab meat, mm. I can Ooh, mahi mahi tacos. Those look so good. Oh, so good. And then mofongo with ropa vieja. Hello. Let's go. Gracias. Cut it open. Let's see. <laughs> Are we good? You need anything, baby? Um, un jugo de pancha. Si, gracias. Let's cut that open. Oh my god. It is just stuffed with mm. this delicious stewed meat. The mahi tacos. 8.3 out of 10 for sure. <laughs> That's very good. Yep, and then the rope of Yeha Mofongo, that was, uh, it's always like a 9.2 out of 10. Always, mm -hmm. so good. And stewing all day, you can tell. For you guys that don't know, rope of Yeha is just like a stewed beef. It's really nice. Shredded. Yeah. Like old clothes, that's what it means. Yeah, it's got onions and peppers, it's so good. So we made it back, but I don't know if you guys can see the moon. Look at that thing. Ooh. If you can see it right there, it's crazy. It looks like an eclipse moon. And then, so down here, they do all of the, uh, down here, they, they have all the street lights on the coast are all red for the sea turtles. I guess the red lights don't, they don't attract the sea turtles like the regular lights do. So all down the coast through there, you'll see all the lights are red. All the way through here too. And then that, that noise that you hear down there is a church. Yeah. 
Day three, Tuesday. Now we are heading down to the south side of the island to a city called Ponce. Yes. Janice has family there. I thought I had family there. I'm sure family was there at one point, but it's about a two hour ride out there. So um, it's about 1030 now. We're gonna head out there, maybe stop, get something to eat on the way, see if we see anything fun and uh, come along on the ride with us. So we stopped at this little thing that they call the kiosks. Now the kiosks to me, you know, from the US, a kiosk to me means like a little thing in the mall that sells like jewelry or blow dryers or something like that. But anyways, the kiosks here is a strip, like basically a strip mall, a strip of different storefronts and restaurants and uh, everybody comes here. They bring like buses of tourists and stuff. Um, they have them all over the island, but this is the one that's in Luquillo. So you can kind of see. We made it to Ponce. We're staying at the uh, Hilton. It's got a pool, it's like a spa resort, uh, golf club. They've got the, uh, the golf course and everything. She's over there checking us in, but wanted to show you how we're. We got the outside pool over, uh, bar over there. They got the pool back there. And then the beach is right over there too. So we're gonna go, uh, go up to the room, get changed, and then go hit the pool. So let's check it out. It's not bad. So we got the Hyundai there. That's what we're driving. We got the mountains all back there. And then this is the resort. And then straight through the back is the pool and the beach and the water and everything. But now we're just waiting on the valet guy. And you can kind of see the golf course over there. But I was looking at the tile. It's like a giving me 90s vibes. But yeah, it's just super sick. Super big. I bet you they have like all kinds of conventions and stuff here. Really nice. We're about to go check out the pool here in a second. Got the good old faithful Puerto Rico hat on here. This is good. Janice has one too. And we are ready to go. Yeah, this is pretty sick. This room is sick. Shower's nice. And then there's the golf course right out here. And obviously you got the water right there too. Super cool. There it is, there's the pool. Oh, there's some big old koi in there too. All right, we made it. And uh, it's nice over here, man. It's relaxing, it's chill. The weather's like, I don't know, maybe maybe high 70s. We went over to uh, get us some drinks. I'll show you guys the actual pool area here in a second. It's super sick. All right, so there's the pool over there. Our room is right over there on that side. And you can see they have like a little water slide, a bunch of stuff for the kiddos, basketball court, tennis, hammocks, playground. And then they have the water and the beach access right there. Super sick, but a really nice resort all in all. I like it, I mean, it is a Hilton, so. Water is really nice. It does. Very 
nice. So we just got to Ponce and we're getting ready to go check out this little festival that they have going on. But check this little Jeep out I saw. This thing is clean. It's definitely like an 88, 89. You can tell by the taillights and stuff, but it's clean. It looks really good. He, uh, he sprayed the wheels, but it's got nice tires on there. It's clean. It's all solid, clean inside. You can't beat it. So now we're just going to walk around the city and we're going to go check out this carnival and see what's good. <laughs> This is crazy. It hasn't really quite started yet, but it's already popping for what it is. The food smells crazy, and there's music like literally in every single booth. It's great. We got the little bar right here, pina coladas, and the fountains are sick too. <clears throat> Where are we at? We are in Ponte. Having Ponte at the festival? At the carnival. Oh. To celebrate the kickoff of the whole Easter season. And they got a bunch of stands. Yeah, it's bigger than my face. I mean, let's listen to the crunch. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a piece of wow. Alright, hopefully I don't get copyright strikes for the music in the background. But we had a famous Puerto Rican food down here. Finger food, I guess. It's called bacalaito, right? Bacalaito. And it translated to like small... Saltfish. Saltfish, yeah. Yeah, salt, it's, it's usually pretty salty. This one's not too bad, but they're uh, always gonna be the size of a paper plate, if not bigger. <laughs> but they're, it's really, really good. If they don't cover your face, they're not doing it right. Facts. <laughs>
we're walking around downtown Ponce. We, uh, that was just a little bit of the, the parade. The parade, I'm sure, keeps going, but now we're just walking around downtown Ponce. The strips and everything. Hopefully, I don't get copyright. <laughs> This is just in case we have an earthquake. I'll let you guys pause that and read that. All right, we made it back to the hotel. We're gonna see what we're gonna get into. I think Janice wants to go down to the casino. All right, so we're in the casino. It's actually pretty decently sized for what it is, but we're over here at these old school machines. We're gonna see. Take my money. Take it. Yes. Reminds me of the oldest. Room service cheeseburger. We had the room service chicken wings earlier. They were decent. You know, it's they weren't the best, but got the good old Americano cheeseburger. Seems decent for a, a Bubba burger, right? And then what do we got here? Tostones, rice, beans, and some steak. Can't mess it up. She says it's good, so it is what it is. It is what it is until it ain't. It's like a plexiglass thing, but it says Nike on it. I'm a big fan. And then this is a Puerto Rico tag. It's got a little bit of paint missing, but overall it's pretty sick. And we gotta see the water out that's out here today. It's nice. I think it's because the moon is full blue or something. That's why the water is so high. Wow. Because it's less low. It's less high now. I think it's super, it looks like Gatorade now. So we're getting ready to, we just got back from Ponce and we're dropping off dirty clothes, picking up clean clothes. And we're heading back to San Juan because we're going to the Jay Wheeler concert tonight. So, super stuff. So we got one of the homies out here surfing and another homie right over here. Board here. All right. I'll be me tomorrow. Oh, he's got he's got flip like he's got fins on too. Yeah. Nice. Well, damn. I feel like I'm on a boat. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, so we made it to the hotel. 
in San Juan. It's pretty sick. Let's get all out. It's just a hotel room, but check this view out. So we're on the ninth floor, and now we got some actual beach action here. We got the pool down there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, similar to St. Pete Beach, but the sand is just a lot different down here. Clearwater Beach, whatever. Look at the water, the water is crazy. Wow. Little shower action here. Bedroom with the view. And then a uh, kitchen in here too. Yep, look at that. Not bad. Plates and pots and pans and look. TV. This is the whole thing. Damn. And freeze. You probably just live in this hotel. Yeah. It goes all the way up and all the way down. So we got some fresh catch of the day ceviche, mm -hmm. some tostones, and I've got my fish tacos again. Let's see how they go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. First taco down was pretty good. Mm. I don't know, I think it has like mango in it. Mm. Let's go see. Ooh. I give it a solid, maybe a 7.2. Relaxation on the beach, it's super nice. Super dope. I haven't gone in the water yet, but maybe, maybe not. So we got a little couple down here that just got married. Very nice, very sweet. Beautiful place to get married right here in Puerto Rico. I mean, geez, this is a heck of a spot and then i wanted to show you guys out here i wanted to show you big old ship out there looks like he's empty and then if you pan over another guy there a little tugboat and i think the tugboat was pushing out this it's a big barge i can't tell what's on it i've got the phone maxed out but Definitely a barge there. Tugboat's leaving it. And I don't know if this guy has anything to do with it. I imagine not. So they have this little area here. All set up for them with the rose petals and stuff. It is actually Valentine's Day today. So they chose a unique day to get married. But very exciting for them. All right, we made it. Just walking up the steps now. It's not too busy. So we'll get inside and see where we're at. All right, we made it to our seats. It's not too bad. Let's see. All right, we are at the beach. So the condo is over here. And this is down there on those rocks that you used to see. 
can see the yellow flag for the surfers. And you can see this here, this is where all the surfers were. We're about to go out there and see what's up. But it looks super sick. All right, we got the guys surfing down here. Super sick. And then we got Judice trying to make her way out there. It's pretty freaking crazy though, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hectic. I mean, you can see the, the waters. It stays pretty shallow out to where it's breaking right there, but we have the rocks right here. Throw him on a hook. Now I'm gonna throw him on a hook. Sick. So dope. I think he's on a hydrofoil too. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's on a hydrofoil. That's so sick. Okay, so we're at this place called, what is it just? La Estacion. La Estacion. So it's a barbecue place, um, but it's uh, like guava, barbecue it's really good I'm gonna show you guys when we get the food but the brisket is pretty much the best brisket I've ever had but I got another another Puerto Rican craft brew here it's a passion fruit wheat so, all right you can see there it's nice it says it's a five and a half to six and a half percent I don't know why they do that but down here on all the labels it doesn't tell you exactly what percent it just says it gives you like a range so this is Five and a half to six and five and a half, five point five to six point six. Woo! <laughs> it's nice. It's not like a light beer, but it's not a thick beer either. I'll give it a solid, probably like a six point nine. Out of ten? Yeah. I don't. I can't say how it would be better, but it just has a little bite to it. You know what I mean? It's really good though. The Caribbean style wings here and the smoked fish dip with the everything bagel seasoning. That's the swordfish dip. Oh, yes, you're right. Wow, okay, so we've got what is this called? This is called the Pitmaster Special. We've got brisket, barbecue guava ribs, smoked turkey, pulled pork, pastrami. Pepperoni salad, potato salad, and coleslaw. Yeah. The fixins are here. They are here. All the fixins. All right, aftermath of the food. <laughs> it was not good at all. No, this place is 10 out of 10. It's in Fajardo, Puerto Rico. You guys got to check it out if you ever come. We have a second beer here. This is a blood orange, blood orange blonde here. Same thing, five and a half, six and a half percent. Ooh, that's nice. Very light. It's like a orange flavored Bud Light. Super good. I give it a 7.4. Here, when you first came on board the aircraft, coming all the way in the back, in the back alley, our horse. All right, so we're back. Got back really late last night. Got the truck here posted up. Looks like it's doing good the way I left it. All right. Well, everything looks like it did when I left it a week ago. Pressure washer trailer's still here, looking good. All right. Can't beat it. Monster fridge over here, feeling good? Oh yeah, feeling real good. 
Hell yeah. Windows are all secure. Very nice. I love that.